All right, hello, boys and girls. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me today for our art lesson. We are going to be creating some cool fall leaves, a fall tree, and we're going to be using uh, one of the elements of art that we're going to be using about, which is line. Uh, the elements of art are all of the things that we use to make art, and we're going to be learning about each one. So the elements of art on your screen, as you can see, are line, shape, color, value, form, space, and texture. So today we are going to be focusing on using the element of art and creating using line. And to learn a little bit more about line, I'm going to bring up another poster here. There are many different types of lines that we can use when we are creating art. Excuse me, scratchy throat. Okay, so we have vertical lines, lines that go up and down. We have zigzag lines, wavy lines, curly, dashed or dotted lines, horizontal, dotted, parallel, curved, diagonal, spiral. Lines can be thick or they can be thin and lines can be used to create outlines, patterns, or to show us different kinds of space. So lines can be used all different kinds of ways. So today in our art project, I'm going to be helping you learn how to use the element of art with line. Okay, I am going to bring up my image me and show you step-by-step -step how we are going to use the element of line in our artwork today. We also have all of these beautiful fall colors around us to inspire us uh, to create our artwork. So let me bring this up here. Oh, let me zoom out just a little bit. All right. So the very first thing that I've done, and you can use a pencil um, you can use a black marker if you have one. You could use a pen if you like, okay? If you use a pencil to trace your hand to start, you will have to do it pretty dark. So maybe even trace your hand two or three times or just press down pretty hard um, when you're using pencil. Or you can use pencil first and then trace it with pen. Or you could use pencil and trace it with marker or just do marker. So the very first thing that I did, of course, was I put my hand on the paper and I traced all the way around, okay? And once I was done, I get my hand traced on the paper. Now, in order to make the leaves for our fall tree, um, you need to go back and make sure that you watch the video that I posted as well that shows you how to make the leaves. If you decide to use paint to do this project, it says that you should use a, um, like a paper towel roll and squeeze it to dip in the paint. But if you're not using paint, I'm going to show you how to do that here. So if you are using paint, you'll need to check out the other video as well that shows you how to do that. And you are welcome to use paint if you like, but if you use paint, I suggest that you use a paper that is heavier and thicker so that it doesn't make the paper all wrinkly. If you paint on paper that is too thin, it will get all wrinkly, okay? So uh, this one, we are doing the drawing. If you're doing paint and the paper towel roll, you can check out the other video. So we are going to use lines that, our element of art is line, right? We're going to use lines that either cross or another word we could say, lines that intersect. So lines that cross, these are lines that cross each other or lines that intersect at some point. That's the same thing. So we could use either one. 
Okay, so let's take a look how we're going to use intersecting and crossing lines to create our fall tree project. So again, if you're using the paint and the paper towel roll, go back to the other video. Here, I'm going to show you. So we're going to make shapes for our fall leaves that are sort of like a teardrop, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're gonna cross them one over another, okay? So what we're going to do is sort of like a teardrop shape, okay, like this. But then when we make our next leaf, we are going to intersect or cross and go right over it. See how these lines cross and intersect? That is exactly what you want because then we're going to, when we go to color all of this in or paint, each one will be a different color and it creates all these different spaces, which makes it look really beautiful. So all I'm going to do is create more crossing and intersecting lines with this teardrop shape for my leaves. And you can even bring some of the leaves in across the hand as well, that's fine. You can do as many leaves as you want. The more leaves that you do, the more interesting it will be. And the more that your lines cross, or the more that your lines intersect, it will be more interesting as well. Okay? So you can make as many of these shapes as you like. Okay? So once you create all of these shapes, you will have something like this. Okay? Actually, I want to add just a few more down here as well. Okay? So these are going to be all of my fall leaves on my tree. Okay? Looks really beautiful. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use crayon. Um, if you, again, if you are painting, make sure that you're using a heavy paper and you can see the other video on how to do that. But it's kind of the same idea. It's just depends on what you want to use. So I'm showing you crayon here and you can use whatever colors you like. However, I really like fall. So I am going to use mostly fall colors in order to do my artwork. Uh, let's see, I need a bright red, I think, too. There we go. So I'm gonna be using these colors and I'm gonna show you how it's going to work. And you know, I think just for fun, I might throw another color in there. I might throw a blue in there. I haven't seen any blue fall leaves lately, but that's okay. We can use our imagination, okay? So let me show you how this works, and then you're going to be creating your own. If you need to pause at any time, of course, during the video, please pause. If you need to rewind, go back and rewind and check it out again on how to do it. That's no problem. And then just catch up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can see here where each and every line intersects or crosses. Remember, we are using the element of art. We are using line. So where our lines either cross or where they intersect, okay, we are going to color each one a different color. And it makes something really, really beautiful when it's all done. So just for example, I think I'm going to do this one, this kind of maroon color. And notice when I'm coloring, I stay inside the lines. I go back and forth and back and forth and make all my lines nice and even. I fill in all of my white space. I take my time. It's better to do a good job rather than just be the first one who is done. So I'm just going to fill in this space. And then I'm going to choose a different color. 
because my lines right here have intersected or crossed. So I'm going to put a different color in this space. Okay. Then I think down here I'm going to use yellow. Taking my time, not trying to be the first one done. It is better to do a good job rather than be the first one done. Coloring very smoothly, filling in all my white spaces. I think I'm going to put some red over here. And remember, the more lines that you intersect and the more lines that you cross with these teared up drop shape for your leaves, the more interesting your artwork is going to be. And I'll put some red here. Okay. So there's my first fall leaf that's done. And now I have all these other intersecting lines too. So I'm just going to keep going. And let's see, I think this one I'm going to do red. Remember, coloring nice and smooth, filling in all of your white spaces. We're not scribbling, staying inside the lines. If when you use your crayon, if you just kind of go back and forth and back and forth, keep all your lines moving the same direction, that's how you get a nice, smooth, color. Okay. And I think down here, I'm going to put this one. So you can make yours however you want it. But in my world, this is how I want it. And in your world, you can create whatever you like. Use your imagination, taking your time, just not trying to be the first one done, trying to do your best. Ooh, I like that blue. I'm going to use that blue just once in a while to kind of change things just a little bit. I think that's pretty. OK. So this is how you're going to create your fall tree project. And it can be really, really beautiful when you're all done. Kind of looks like stained glass as well. It's quite beautiful. But so you're going to continue coloring all of these different shapes all the way across your tree until you are finished. And you can color the trunk of your tree. You can color it any kind you like. Uh, it could be all brown if you wanted to, or you can be creative and you could do different pictures or different designs or different colors on your tree trunk. But this is how you're going to create. So you just continue all the way around and switching colors for each different shape. Remember, again, where the lines cross or intersect. OK, and you're going to have a beautiful, beautiful project when you are all done. Remember to take your time. Remember to do your best. It is more important to do a good job than to just be the first one done. Color everything very smoothly. Don't leave any white spaces. Alternate your colors in each place where the lines cross and intersect. And I think you'll come out with a really, really beautiful art project. So remember um, to finish the entire project. Remember to submit it through Class Dojo Portfolio. Make sure that you do your checklist. And that way I can give out dojo points. And then maybe some of your artwork will make it up onto the board in school to display in the hall, or maybe we'll put it in the art show as well. So really looking forward to seeing all of your beautiful artwork. Just remember to submit through Dojo Portfolio and do your checklist when you are done. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.